good morning dear students so yesterday we discussed the poem a photograph written by Shirley Towson and as I told you yesterday that uh, in the next video we will discuss the question answer of this poem so here we go so uh, see what first question from think it out what does the word cardboard denote in the poem cardboard i told you yesterday what is cardboard this was the cardboard the boundary made of wood was the cardboard in the poem why has the word been used see the cardboard word has denoted the mounted photograph of mother okay this one and her two cousins and her two cousins the poet has used this word because the photograph being old is now worn out. Worn out means color faded. The condition of that particular frame is now faded. And moreover, it is surrounded by molding or frame. This is the molding and frame. So the cardboard word has been used to define the age, one thing, second thing, three characters in it and the color of the board is now question number two what has the camera captured what simply a snapshot a picture but let's see the camera has captured the childhood memory of mother isn't it when the picture was clicked memory of the mother and her two cousins sister when they had gone to a sea holiday during their childhood days isn't it the camera has captured the picture and what the picture contains these three things like one mother and two cousin sister cousins who went to enjoy their holidays at sea beach their uncle has taken the photograph uncle has captured yesterday we got to know the uncle has captured this see here it is written uh, and the uncle with the camera this uncle has captured the picture and uh, as the three stood still clutching their hands and looking innocently through the hair what the camera has captured three they are sitting uh, standing silently and match their hands okay so the camera has pictured and the camera has captured the picture in which three persons are there and they went they went to uh, enjoy their holidays now third question what has not changed over the years yesterday i told you what has not show, changed over the years in the picture the sea okay does this suggest something to us definitely it suggests so the answer will be like this the sea has not changed over the years the expression this expression suggests that nature is permanent and everlasting nature is permanent and ever lasting our last thing that goes never to end okay wherever we people change with our growth they have changed their growth like they become young and she became a uh, wife of somebody change with our growth the object of nature like sea river never change into and they never goes out of the sea okay so what is permanent see and what is not permanent we people like we are temporary see or the nature is permanent now next one question number four the poet's mother laughed at the snapshot what did this laugh indicate in this picture who is laughing who is smiling the big girl who is the big girl mother of the poet so answer will be the mother laughed whenever she looked at the snapshot after clicking the picture, whenever the mother got any opportunity to observe this picture, she started laughing. The sight reminds her of the pleasure of her childhood days. Understood? The scene of this picture reminds the mother the enjoyment of her childhood days. She also feels amused and her parents had dressed them very in a very good kind of dress with the changing of time they begin to look funny and out of place understood so this is the third one fourth question sorry and fifth one what is the meaning of the both arrive with the labor days of laws understood 
my dear students this is as i told you yesterday this one is the most important line of this one both rai with the liberties of loss both means poet and mother rai means worried and what was their loss their loss was what was the mother's loss mother loss of her smile and what was the poet's loss the poet loss of her mother so this one is the meaning of this line both rai with the liberties of loss then what does this circumstance means or refer to see here in third stanza circumstance circumstance means the present situation okay this particular situation when the poet became sad and the poet mother is no more and the poet becomes emotional this is the present situation the answer will be like this this circumstance is referred to the instance of her mother's death okay because her mother has uh, is no more the circumstance has created a empty place this present situation has you can say created a vacuum in poet's life a strange silence is there which is full of emotion so this is the present situation present situation you know when the poet becomes sad by reminding her mother because her mother is no more and then the poet becomes emotional silent this is the present situation next one the three stanzas depicts the three stanzas depict three different phases what are they see this first stanza depicts about the happy moment of poet's mother at sea beach when she was a child second stanza talks about the loss of mother okay and third stanza that the present situation of the poet when there uh, there is nothing to speak and the poet becomes sad or emotional okay dear students so these are the three uh, these are the seven questions and apart from that two more question i just tell you one important one what is the theme of this chapter or the poem actually this poem is about transience of human life means temporary death and mysteries surrounding them the poet sully towson also makes mention of man's transience on the sand of life means to say what is the thematic approach of this poem it means we people like men is temporary and nature is permanent okay this is the basic theme of this particular poem okay and my dear students i just tell you so you need to write an answer the answer is justify the title sorry t i t l e title of the poem a photograph okay so this is your work to be done after reading and after getting knowing the answers thank you dear students have a good day